So tonight we have our first guest coming over for My Kitchen Rules Harumi style, Harumi and James. And on the stove we've got some nabe cooking. This is called nabe and Harumi's going to explain to us what nabe is, aren't you Harumi? Um, Tell us a bit about nabe. Hi, nabe is um, basically hot pot. Um, put vegetables, fish and maybe you know, surimi made from the beef meat, chicken, but we do it normally vegetarian. Vegetarian tonight? Now they have um, uh, maybe three, four kinds of flavor, but we doing like a plan and then eat with uh, soy sauce, vinegar, and uh, what do you call? What do you call that? Daikon, but I don't know English. Daikon. Daikon, daikon in Japanese, it's and like a sort of yuzu. radishy kind of yuzu. vegetable. And yuzu. So this is plant and this is sea, seaweed stock, which is um, this. This is um, we call mizudaki. Mizudaki. Yes. And what are these vegetables that you're putting in? Uh, what's this go? Oops, I'm cut. Is it, <laughs> is it cabbage? Or oh, what's this? Leek? Cabbage? No, bok choy. Bok, bok choy. Ah, yes. Bok choy. I'm not a big fan of bok choy because I think it's a potential death trap. It can get stuck in your throat and choke mm. and you can die. But uh, what else? We've got some noodles in there, some mushrooms, it bok choy. A bit of everything. Looks uh, made from potato. Potato, kind of potato. Potato noodles. Ah, special noodles. And also we got tofu. Oh, I forgot to cut. Some tofu. Okay. Yeah. All right. Looking forward to nabe tonight. Oh, here's Rebecca, and we're gonna have nabe. Hey, first guest. Our first guest. <laughs> Rebecca. Rebecca. Cool. <laughs> Rebecca's just moved up to Auckland, haven't you, Rebecca? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hey. What made you decide to come up to Auckland? I bought a business up here. You bought a business up yeah. here. What yes. What are you doing? What Tell us doing? more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a backpackers. A backpackers. Yeah. Cool. Whereabouts is that? In the city in Auckland. Is it? What's it called? It's Have you? It's called the Cozy Kiwi. The Cozy Kiwi. Did yeah. you call it that? No, it was already called the Cozy Kiwi. So you're keeping, you're keeping the name? We kept the name, we did. Yeah, oh. cool. And so you're, you're in the process of building up the, your business at the moment? That's that's correct. Yeah, how's it going? <laughs> challenge? Not too bad. Because what did you... Challenge? Yeah, what did you used to do before? And I was a nurse before. No. Yeah, what made you decide you wanted to change? I didn't like it anymore. You didn't like it anymore. I was sick of doing that job. It's too stressful. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so what? Tonight we're having nabe, which is hot pot. Yeah. Yeah. Nabe. Nabe. This is a special nabe. Japanese dish. Mm, and <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Yay! There we go. Ready to eat. Ready to eat. Bon appetit. bon appetit. What do you say, Harumi? <laughs> Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. If you want salt, <laughs> this is yuzu. What's yuzu, Harumi? Yuzu. Tell us about yuzu. Yuzu is like um, the family of lime or lemons. Or Citrus fruit. Mm, mm. I think. Yuzu. Like, uh, also like a pepper. Like a lemon grass pepper. Ah. And then this is very, very spicy pepper. Seven kinds. What do you oh. call that, Tarumi? Shichimi. Shichimi? Yeah. Shichimi. And, and this one I already put. So this is um just left additional. Mm. So, daikon oroshi. Daikon oroshi. Yeah, uh, is this yeah. this, this here? Ah, this yes. One. This the, the daikon zori, I, I, I mashed up a whole lot of daikon. Which daikon? It's daikon. like a, a root vegetable, but like it's this stuff here. It's mm -hmm. actually yeah, that's that cooked, it's sort of boiled daikon there. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's a kind of root vegetable, I suppose. Mm -hmm. A bit like a radish or a carrot or kind yeah. of a cross between something. Mm -hmm. It's quite a long vegetable. Yeah, white. Japanese. We say sometimes um, 
if I see very fat, straight, white lakes, they say daikon lake. Daikon lake? Yeah. If the lake's like that? Yeah. Ah, white, white, fat, straight. Ah. <laughs> daikon. Daikon. Daikon lake. Someone's legs. Oh, legs. legs. Oh, people's legs. If, yeah, if yeah. fat, and, I can I can imagine exactly what that legs, looks like. Ugly. Ugly, fat, yeah, white legs. Yeah. Daikon legs means ugly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Depends on the, the way position you, for... The way you hold your chopsticks. Me. Yeah, means uh, saying um, they, they, they can stay away from parents very independent or need parents. Okay, so if you hold them close, Means close to parents. what? Close in the one's parents. Close together. Uh, leave near parents. Ah, uh, hard to, and hard to leave your parents. Very far, far means very far. Leave far away from parents. Oh, really? <laughs> so I, I'm kind of far. <laughs> You're far, okay. <laughs> How far apart do you hold them? The distance between them? Is that what you mean? Yeah, uh, normally maybe regular maybe here, but mine, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. But I thought she's very close. Oh, <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But she's not Japanese, so yeah. What I'm about me? About Japanese. What about me? Do I? I don't know. I'll have to have a look. Oh, you you holding here? Hmm. How far apart bit, am I holding them? A bit, Is that uh, a little bit closer. A little bit closer what, what than normal. A little bit closer. Yeah, a bit, a bit lower, holding lower. Well, how how did you learn to use the chopsticks? Well, uh, my my mother was actually born in China in mm. Shanghai, and my oh. grandparents, my grandmother and grandfather, lived in Shanghai. My grandfather father was a, um, a fingerprint expert for the Brit British police in, in Shanghai oh. or was it Hong Kong no it was definitely Shanghai yeah. and anyway when I was a kid uh, my grandmother whenever we went to my grandmother's house in mm. Manarueba, um I we always had she always cooked ch yummy Chinese meals like sweet mm. sour chicken and stuff like that and, and mm. so that's how I Learned to use chopsticks. Mm -mm. Mm. Okay. So you haven't you haven't eaten this one. No, oh, I haven't tried this before. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like how it? You, how <laughs> it's you different. It's different. Yeah. It yeah. yeah, it's quite strong flavour, yeah. isn't it? The vinegar. Mm. It's a bit yeah. unusual for you, eh? We put what? vinegar in things. Ah. We do. Yeah, but different vinegar. Eh? Mm, I don't know. It tastes a little bit different, but it's good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen this um, uh, brown stuff? No brown, grey. This is made from potato and then cream stomach. It's good oh, for your stomach. Really healthy. Is it potato? Potato, kind of potato. Is it noodles? Mm. Looks, mm, looks noodle, but not noodle, just like this. Oh. Um, I just cut the, like this size, but mm -hmm. when I bought, yeah, noodle. Mm -hmm. Big long noodle. Yeah. <laughs> but I cut. <laughs> so you've been uh, surfing today, Rebecca? Yeah, I caught some waves. You did? Yay. Cool. Cool. Whereabouts did you go surfing? I went to Murawai Beach. Murawai, ah, oh, it's nice out there. Mm. <laughs> I, uh, my godfather used to have a batch out there. Ooh. Black sand, eh? Yeah. Where did you surf when you were in Tauranga? At Mount Monganui, or? Mm -hmm. How long have you been surfing for? I learnt surfing when I was a teenager. Ah. And then I haven't surfed every day, all the time. Yeah. Mm. Do, you, do you bodyboard as well, or do you prefer surfing? You don't have a bodyboard. Like I've never been. I, I've only been surfing like once, once before. But it was um, I've, I'm 
been bodyboarding for many, many years since I was a kid, mainly at Mount Monganui because we have a beach house down there too. My ba my brother's a keen surfer though, he's really good. I want good. a skim skim board. You want a skim board? Mm. <laughs> skim board. That's a different kettle of fish altogether. Mm. We bought one of those for Sam for his birthday present. Yes. Yeah. No, Christmas present. Christmas or that. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yes. Yes. So you wanted to put some cockle shells in here, did you, Harini? I mean fly. Fried cockle, cockles. With me, me, butter. Fry with butter and the soy sauce. Mm. Or she said, What's your recipe for cockle shells? I Be like to have the, yeah, butter and the garlic or ginger. That's yummy. Ah, mm. I, I don't know if I've tried cockles before. We, we tried to get some out at Cockle Bay, wasn't it? Mm. But they, they wouldn't but allow you to alone. take them. Yeah. But when we went up to Tutukaka. Yeah, we are all. But we didn't. <laughs> yeah, we were allowed to. There was some at Nunguru, wasn't there? Nunguru. Nunguru. Yeah. Have you been there? Yeah. I think you've told me to go somewhere. Yeah, I've been there. Nunguru history. Yeah, I've been there. It's a lovely place. Yeah, so many people picking. Picking bread. Yeah, cooking there. Famous basketball. Player. Your brother's a famous basketball player. Yeah, he's really, is he, he famous? He's on newspaper many, many times. Your oldest brother? Mm. Really? Yeah, he's so good. Ah, oh, so he that's his living, is he? He's a professional basketball player. No, he quit. Oh, really? Why? How old is he? Uh, now? Hmm. I think. 38? Oh no, 39. Uh, Maybe. Oh, so he'd be a bit old for it now, I suppose. When he was younger, he was a famous basketball yeah. player. Oh, and you like younger. playing badminton? Maybe, maybe he's an uh, uh, adult. Yeah. Also, he was a player. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. he was playing. Uh, he played newspaper. for quite a long time. In the newspaper, famous. Yeah, many times. What's his name? Sasaki Koichi. Koichi. Koichi Sasaki. Ah. Yeah. Koichi. Oh, you said the last name first. Is that how ah, you say it in Japanese? Yes. Yeah, so, sorry, I forgot. You are not in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, did you know I had my two front teeth knocked out playing volleyball? We were talking about volleyball before I had my two front teeth knocked out playing volleyball. It's a dangerous sport. Wow. It is. Well, actually this happened. The, we were playing playing a game and the guy in front of me oh. went for a shot that I was going wow. for and elbowed me in the teeth and knocked my two front wow. teeth out. Really and I, that was while I was in America oh. and um, I had to go and get... Um, I had to get it all on travel insurance and it was a bit scary. Went to an oh. American dentist and he put porcelain crowns, but he was a good dentist and they looked after me really well, so it was nice, but it was a bit scary because at one stage I wasn't sure whether I was going to get mm. the um, the insurance, so I was a bit worried that I'd have to go around for the next six months with no teeth. Oh my God. Mm. You have a photo? No, I don't think I do. I can't remember if I took a photo. It's not something I particularly want to take a photo of, me with no teeth. <laughs> but they did a pretty good job of fixing up my porcelain crowns, you wouldn't notice. I don't think. <laughs> I hoped. Well, you didn't say anything. So <laughs> what are you doing now, Harumi? Ready to get uh, have the rice and is the eggs. Uh, oh, so is there a second stage now that we're going yeah, to? So I have to put all the stuff out. So all the hot pot comes out. Oh, very um, funny because um, so many people doing. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so you're talking about AK Samba? Yeah. Yeah, how are you play in AK Samba and you play in, yeah. used to play in Tauranga Samba. Is that right, mm. Rebecca? Yeah. Are you planning on joining AK Samba? Tell us a bit about AK Samba and Tauranga Samba. 
in case somebody is um, Auckland Brazilian band and you, I don't remember how many people now. But what do you, uh, what kind of instruments do you play? Uh, bell. Ping pong ping. You play the bell, the agogo. 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 What do you play, Rebecca? I play the tambourine. The tambourine. Ah, oh, and here's the egg and the rice going in. Yay. We had a drum circle today, didn't we, at the walk and talk treasure hunt. There was just a whole lot of instruments. I played the weird scratchy thing. What's that called? You scratch. Uh, You don't have that in AK yeah, Samba. Yeah. I'm not sure what that's I called. Instead of, um, I like different instruments. I think they're pretty cool. Of, um, shaker. Yeah, I it's think. a bit like a shaker. Yeah. Makes a scratching sound. It was good for wheels on the bus. <laughs> we played wheels on the bus. Twinkle, <laughs> twinkle, little star. <laughs> yeah, today. Because yeah, it was a kiddies. It was a kiddies treasure hunt to support. Um, Counselling Awareness Week or something. Yeah. Great. And I got to play some songs too. <laughs> Off my crumpy album. <laughs> it's the one. I like drumming. Any drumming is good. Yeah, this is from a, a group called, I think it's Gabrielle Roth. She does a thing called Five Rhythms Dancing, which is a kind of meditation dance where you go and dance five rhythms, you dance through the, I think you start off going through the um, flowing rhythm which is a feminine kind of rhythm and circles and waves and then there's staccato which is the masculine rhythm which is like uh, straight lines and stuff like rigid and straight lines and then you join them both together and you get the chaos rhythm which is lines and circles so it's all over the place and then you go into the lyrical rhythm which is coming out of chaos and sort of going oh, 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 oh. and oh, oh, oh. then you kind of relax into stillness which is the last rhythm and it's uh yeah like a dance meditation yeah i'm not quite sure which one this is i think it might be the the stillness rhythm maybe sounds quite still. Got some egg in here and what else did you put in there, Harumi? Soy sauce. Soy sauce. And, uh, yuzu. A bit of yuzu. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know what taste. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yum yum. Yeah, triangle by rice bowl. It means basically salt. Salt and rice. Yeah. I like um, salt and rice. You know, it sounds pretty boring, but it's quite nice. Keep, good. keep energy. Good for your energy. Energy, yes. Oh, is so that what they do? That's why. They used to make, for the husband, bring to the work. Ah. Oh. Long, long time ago. Triangle rice balls. Yeah. Mm. So <laughs> they're not really balls, though, if they're triangles. How to be triangle? Why? Why do they have to be triangle? I don't know. You don't know. But they have also different shape, but triangle is a basic. Okay, so it's a rice triangle. So it means make a listen. Choo, 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 like that. Are you sure it was a pudding or yeah. podom? Yeah. Podom. Oh, uh, choo, choo, and then roll and choo, choo, roll, choo, choo, choo. Done. Done. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Triangle. You're telling me about your chocolate vitamins? I have chocolate vitamins. I don't like eating vitamins, so I made them into chocolate. Oh, so it's chocolate, chocolate with vitamin C in it. Yeah, mostly chocolate with a bit of vitamin C in it. Oh, okay. But you have them in little, 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 um, little chocolates, and you buy them from the shop. From the chemist. I sell them in the chemist. Do you? Oh, yes. wow. There's a man that goes and sells them into the chemist for me. Um, what are the, What's the name of the vitamin, the chocolate vitamin The brand is yeah. called Kapow. Kapow? Kapow. <laughs> Kapow chocolate vitamin C. How long have you been doing those? I launched them last week. <laughs> last week? Serious? Yes. You're quite an entrepreneur then. And I did press releases, but I don't think anyone's done anything about it. 
And now I'm going to go around to the radio stations and give giveaways. Wow. How did you... How did you... Did you, did you make them yourself? Or did you I have someone... A food engineer or something? I made it myself, but then I went to a factory because I didn't want to make them because it's really hard to work with chocolate. Especially in those small, such small things. And food safety is a real issue and you have to have it precise. Yeah. So I was like, I don't want to make it, so... You can make it and then someone else can sell it. <laughs> <laughs> so who's making Who makes it for you? you I've got a factory down south in a top secret location, a chocolate Willy Wonka factory that <laughs> makes my vitamin C's. <laughs> really? Yes. So are they making many of them? Or They're making lots of them. I, made my, I put in my first order for them two weeks ago and I ordered double what I thought I'd need to have. And I don't even have enough to fill out the order that I got. And they're already putting another order in. So I had to ring up this chocolate factory people and get them to make their machines work again for me. Gosh, <laughs> so you're getting lots of orders for them, are you? No? Yeah. 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 Wow, oh, that's cool. But I don't know. They just, I see, see how it goes. Because you got to always, it's the reorder that you're wanting, not... I mean, the initial order's good, but you're just wanting the reorder, mm. which is important to work on. So look out for Kapow vitamin... Vitamin C Kapows. <laughs> so are they chocolate with a flavour? Flavoured chocolate? They do taste a little bit different than chocolate. They're made with dark chocolate because dark chocolate's healthy for you. Yeah. And so, yeah, so it doesn't... But they're not like orange chocolate or kiwi fruit chocolate no, or anything they're like. sort of... Choc dark chocolate with a bit of they not don't taste just like chocolate. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's really interesting. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>